Rastafari. Why? Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Hope you guys are doing okay. Hope you are all still chill after witnessing such a carnage. Oh my word. 40 20 game there between West Indies and England. You would think it was an ODI game at the end of our bowling innings. Over 260 had runs. 267 runs to be exact. England, my people, they batted well, but our bowlers didn't help it any at all. I have never seen so many short pitch deliveries in my life in a T20 game. All spinners bowling short. I don't know, I don't know what. Everybody bowling short. But at the end of the day, I must say shout out to the English batsmen for being able to dispatch all the bad deliveries. What we would have witnessed today is that we can hang with most teams as it relates to our power hitting and our batting. But with them sort of bowling, it's not going to work. Definitely not going to work. Not every day of the week, you're going to have our batsmen being able to make 190, 185. You understand? And if we are not able to make that on a day, then you know our bowler is not going to defend it. So we're going to go through the scorecard and talk about it a little bit. So England batting first, it's even hard to say. 267 for 3. Phil Salt getting another century. Back to back century. Phil Salt and Joss Butler, they laid it down in the power play, my peeps. We have once again... um witnessed that we do not have the answer when it comes on to taking wickets in the power play or when it comes on to working batsmen out and i saw the captain trying he rang the changes in terms of bowling in terms of bowlers um very early we had like what six or seven bowlers being used so he was trying options when you are when your bowlers going for runs only thing you can do is keep rotating and keep trying. And <laughs> I tell my people, it, it, it never look good. So 267 for 3. Let me just go through the scorecard here. England, uh, Phil Salt, he made 119 or uh, 57. 10 sixes and 7 fours. It was just easy for him, my peeps. He had a couple of shots that looked good. A couple of shots that he had to work out. But the vast majority of the deliveries that were put away were some short pitch deliveries. Short, wide, short, down the leg side, full toss. It was just awful to watch. As I said, even the spinners were bowling short and full toss. But I, mean, I tell you, Just Butler, he made 55 of 29, 6 fours and 3 sixes. Will Jacks, 24 of 9. Yes, 24 of 9. He had 2 fours and 2 sixes. Liam Livingstone. In the back end there, getting a half century. 54 of 21. Four fours and four sixes. Not out, that is. Harry Brook finished with six of four. As I said, sometimes you're going, you're, going, you're, going be a, you're going to run up into a team that the batsman just firing. But you still have to try and, 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 and bowl some, you know, be disciplined. Way too much short pitch bowling, man. The, the, it was just in discipline. Short wide down the leg side I see man setting feel and have long on long off and half side half side feet pack and, and bowling the ball down the leg side it was just it was horrible man you, you think you hear horribly yet let me go through the bowling figures Matthew Ford three overs 54 runs a debut for him and it was tough Akil Hussein four overs 36 runs one wicket Kyle Mears one over seven runs Jason Holler, 4 overs, 55 runs, 1 wicket. Goody Kishmoti, 4 overs, 55 runs. Andre Russell, um, 3 overs, 37 runs, 1 wicket. Sheffield Rutherford, his 1 over went for 23. Yes, 23, my people. It was, it, was, it was just carnage out there. In terms of how the wicket fell, 117 for 1, 173 for 2, 246 for 3. Then they went on to score 267 for 3. In reply, our batsmen decided that they had to go from 
I am assuming the halfway stage, the talk was just go for it. Go, just go and play. You understand? You could see Brandon King and Kyle Mears, they went out with the intention to go, for, to go hard from the beginning. Brandon King got a short and wide delivery, which was dear to be hit. But, you know, misjudging it, picking out the... Well, Reece Tapley was the only man in that position. Tallest man on the field wasn't able to measure him and was out caught off the first delivery. Golden duck. Kyle Mayers, he didn't, um, you know, he didn't last much longer either. I, I don't even know if Brandon King should have opened, you know. Well, I don't know how he was feeling, but he got a hit in the knee and was off the field for a period of time. And I was wondering if this was a perfect opportunity to just switch things up and send two guys out there to go and hammer away at it. But, you know, once he once he was feeling good, he, he would have opened because, you know, he's, he's the informed opener. So I can understand that. Um, Calmere is 12 or 5, 1, 4, 1, 6. Nicholas Poran came in, my people. 6, 4, 6. He came in and he was going for it. He was going for it until he was dismissed by Reese Tapley. He made, um, he was actually Sam Curran, Curran who got rid of him. He made 39 of 15 with three fours and four sixes. Puran was looking to hunt it down, my peeps. He was looking to go at it. And when you have a total like that, you can't go in and, you can't go in and see you're looking to, to use three or four bars to get your eye in. It can't work like that. You know, um, we were bowled out eventually before I even finished going through the scorecard because we just had to go for it. We were bowled out in 15.3 overs for 192. 192 is a good T20 score. But when you have the bowlers working with that, we're working with, you know, you know, look good. Um, she Hope, he made 16 of 8, 2 fours and 1 6. Uh, Rutherford looked good. He was going at it also. Uh, 36 of 15, 5 fours and 2 sixes. Ravman Poyle once again falling to his um, weakness. Uh, leg spin at Rashid bamboozling him. Andrea Russell, 51 of 25, 3 fours and 5 sixes. Looking to power us over the 200 mark, but was unable. Jason Holder could have used his button in a time like this. He went for a golden duck. Akil Hussein was hanging around and trying his best to try and, and see what he could do. 15 half 11, 1 4 and 1 6. Matthew Ford, 3 half 5. Moti was left not out without scoring. So we were bowled out for 192. And as I said, my viewers and subscribers, if we are batting first or if we are even chasing and we can pace ourselves, 192 is, is, is not bad. It's not a bad total. It's just that <laughs> when you're chasing 267 like it's an ODI game, there is no way you expect the batting team to come up with that. You understand? The other day we scored 222 and they couldn't defend it. So, you know... There's no way you expect your batting team. Not, not, it's very unlikely you're going to see two teams in the same game scoring over 215 at T20 game. I don't know if we're going to really ever see that. So, it was rough. Bowling for England, Moen Ali, 1 for 20, half is 1 over. Um, Nicholas Poor, and I think it was that took a light into him. Reese Tapley, 3 for 37, he was the, 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 the man. Chris Wokes, 1 for 25 from 2 over. Sam Curran, 2 for 25 from 2. Um, Ahmed, 2 for 42 from 3. Adil Rashid, 1 for 35 from 4. So, as I said, my viewers and subscribers, it was just rough in terms of the, of, of the bowling. It was hard to look at. I can deal with batsmen scoring runs, you know. I can deal with batsmen scoring runs against our team. But it's it's... It's watching and not and, 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 and not seeing much of a change in terms of, you know, even halfway through the state, halfway through the game, after 10 overs, you would have had the water break. You'd have re reassessed and said, listen, if you even take that long, short pitch not working, let's get in some slower delivery. We saw a couple of guys try, try, trying some slower delivery. Even that, there was salt was waiting on them and hammering them. <laughs> it was just hard to bowl to them, but... Even when we, we, we had a good line, the length was a problem. So even if they picked up a good line, bowling the ball not too wide, getting them to a good line, it was too short. Even the spinners, as I said, I saw bowling short. You understand? So that is something that we're definitely going to need to work on. The momentum is with England. Um, going into the final day, it's going, to be, going into the final game, it's going to be very interesting to see how we go about this, my peeps. 
but um 267 for three you really and truly can expect your, your, your bowling your batting team to go and chase that down and the team really looked you know shepherd and joseph not in there really looked as if we, we we had no answers we were just waiting for the 20 overs to be finished and hoping that they don't score um 300 runs mighty gosh man <laughs> but that is how it look my people we will look at it further down um probably tomorrow or so i just wanted to just use the time to just give you a quick recap of the scorecard and thing but um the main thing coming out of that the bowling um short pitch bowling it, it just it was untidy man it, it did untidy at one point in time i saw even the coach coming down and the field looked like he was coming to to, to give some advice but you no matter what the coach or the captain telling the bowlers them if them decide to bowl the ball short in 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 our work and nobody have no pace there you know so bowling short pitch delivery can't work with them money because they my bowl 130 and i say you know bowl 150 i bowl a bag of sharp ball but it, that is pretty much how it went my people we're going to leave it right there for now and we will revisit it once we would have cooled down big up